So, so I am getting my telescope ready for the lunar eclipse. So, I guess I'm supposed to undo the screw here and pull out the legs. And yeah, so uh, I've done this a couple times before, but yeah, I'm really wanting to go check out the lunar eclipse and whatnot. And, yeah, it should be pretty tight. But, I love this telescope. I've had it ever since I was a kid. And, it's seen better days! It really has, honestly. It really has seen better days. But, anyways. So, old wooden frame here. He goes, so, yeah. Well, what is it? Uh, uh. The 46 to 60 times coded, but anyway, it's a it's a good old it's a good old system. I mean, it works awesomely, you know. I mean, look at this. That's power right there, dude. That's like 50 million times power going on there. What do I even have the light on for? But that's one long freaking deal there. I mean, it's been a while since I even tried to... I can't remember, I can't even remember how long it's been since I've done this. Wow. <laughs> been forever. That's for sure. So anyways, like I said, I'm going to go out and watch the Lunar Eclipse. Okay, I got the legs all slid out. Got the telescope ready. And... Let's lock her into place here. So yeah. Right now, there's the moon behind the clouds. And yeah. Hopefully I'll get some video of it for you guys in the next clip, because this is only part one. <laughs> so, cool beans. It's freaking bright out here tonight, which is freaking totally awesome. Well, anyway, yeah, I got this set up, and <clears throat> this should be pretty darn cool. This should rock should rock. I mean, totally, this should rock. So, uh, yeah. Um, see if I can get a view here. Nice. Okay, well, I'm ready to do my thing. Hope you all have fun. Talk to you later. Work harder. Out.